Hello and welcome to part 2 of the Shape Generator update. With our setup, there are now countless design combinations to cycle through by just changing the master seed parameter. To see lots of designs at once, so that you can select one or two to take forward, we can now use something called an iterator in the Shape Generator. The iterator was an idea conceived by Chip Walters that I developed for him whilst working on Kitop Synth, an add-on that intelligently places Kitop's inserts across a base object. Chip kindly let me use the iterator idea here as well, as he thought it was ideal for the shape generator. The iterator will use the camera in your scene to automatically render a range of shape generator combinations to a directory of your choosing. The iterator can be found by expanding the iterator subsection on the shape generator panel. First off, set the seed range you wish to use to render out different combinations. Here, we'll set the first seed to 500 and the last seed to 550. This means the iterator will render 50 different images showing each possible master seed setting. Under the file path, set a directory of your choosing. You can optionally choose a render engine that is different to the default settings in your scene. Here, I'll choose Workbench, Blender's internal renderer, as I'd like to see the different colours for every collection of objects. Beforehand, go to the Render Properties panel, select Workbench and then set Matcap under Lighting and Object under Colour. You can then swap back to Eevee in your main scene and the iterator will use these Workbench settings. When we're ready and have the camera in a good location, Press the Start button. Blender isn't good at displaying progress, so don't worry if the program appears to freeze a little, as it is still doing work in the background. To check this, open the directory you are rendering your files to. You should see the images rendering out sequentially. There is also another file called running.ack, and if you want to cancel, you can remove this file. The iterator will stop and Blender will cancel the iterator. In the directory, you'll see all the possible combinations of master seed in one go. Note that at the end of each file name is the seed number we can input into the shape generator. Let's choose one we like the look of and enter its number into the master seed setting. And voila, you have chosen your design. Now that we have this shape, we may want to edit it even further to perhaps add more detailing or even sculpt it to make it your own. In the next video, we'll use the Shape Generator's Bake feature to do just that. See you in a moment.